What's up guys? So today we're going to be making pumpkin spice pup cakes for these two guys. It's starting to get colder here in Nevada. Fall's rolling in so we figured we'd get started with our Halloween fall treats. So let's get started. First we're going to do the dry ingredients which we're doing a cup of whole wheat flour. You can also do oat flour or um, coconut flour but any flour is really fine. And then half a teaspoon of baking soda. And then we're just gonna mix this together and set it to the side. All right, so we're just gonna set this aside and start on the wet ingredients. First, we're gonna use one banana. You can also use applesauce or something like that, but we're using a banana because it's Sky's favorite. Good job. <laughs> so we're just gonna mash this up so it's easier to mix. All right, so once you get your banana mashed up, we're gonna add 1 8 of a cup of vegetable oil, a half a cup of peanut butter. <laughs> no cocoa. Do you wanna taste the peanut butter? Yep, they love peanut butter. And then 1 half of a cup of pumpkin puree. And you're gonna wanna make sure that it's 100% pumpkin puree, um, all natural, and not the pumpkin pie feeling because it's too sugary and really not that good for dogs. But pumpkin is awesome. Um, you can either have it like this in a canned pumpkin, 100% um, organic, or you can have cooked pumpkin. So pumpkin is really good for dogs because it's great for the, their digestive system and it has a lot of fiber in it. And then the last ingredient is gonna be one egg. And while we're mixing this together, I just wanna say, you're gonna to wanna to preheat the oven to 350 degrees, so that way when you're done doing this, it's all ready to go in the oven. All right, so once you got your wet ingredients mixed up, you're gonna bring back your dry ingredients and mix those together. is gonna like these treats. <laughs> so we got everything mixed together. Now we're going to put it into these cute little trays of silicone paw prints. We got them off Amazon. We're just gonna put the mixture into these paw prints. Once you get them in there, okay, you guys wanna taste it? They're going crazy. <laughs> Go ahead, Sky. No. Only the four girls. Good girl. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put them down so I could put them in these trays and then we'll get going. All right, so we got the pups down. Now we're gonna fill up these silicone trays. <laughs> They're going crazy over here. They're so excited to try these. Oh, really, Sky? I know, you can't wait. All right, so since we got these silicone trays done, we're gonna put them in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes and let them cool and then we'll be back to frost them. Um, while they're baking, we're gonna show you how to make the frosting. So it's time to make the cream cheese frosting. Um, what it is, is it's just cream cheese pretty much. I'm gonna add a little bit of pumpkin into it to add some flavor, uh, but make sure you don't get the actual cream cheese frosting. <laughs> They, they've never had cream cheese before, but it seems like they really want to try it. Okay. Yep, they're definitely fans. Cocoa knows how to eat it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put this in the bowl and I'm gonna... <laughs> you got it. Okay. I'm gonna mash it up so it gets a little bit more fluffy. Cocoa, sit back down. All right, so we just had to put the cream cheese in the microwave for a couple seconds because it just wanted to thaw it out a little bit more so it was easy to work with. Um, we're gonna add a little bit of pumpkin for some flavor. Huh, you guys are so excited. 
Once it's all mixed up, what we're gonna do is we have a little piping bag that we're gonna use to frost the cupcakes. And so it's easier to clean. We're gonna put the frosting in a plastic bag first, cut a little hole in it, and then put it in the bag um, to frost the cupcakes. And so we're gonna go grab the cupcakes and show you how to frost them. So here are the finished cupcakes. We baked them for about 20 minutes. That was good for ours. And then we put them in the refrigerator to let them cool off so that the frosting wouldn't melt off when we frosted them. So let's get to the fun part. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pipe around the paw print and really make the paw print part stand out. You could do really do anything with this. Um, I wouldn't say put a lot of frosting on it, but it is the dog's favorite part, so. <laughs> Sky. All right, and here's how it's gonna look finished. I'm sure the dogs can't wait to try it. All right, so here's the finished product. I know these pups have been dying to try one of these pumpkin spice pup cakes. I'm just gonna cut one in half because I don't want them eating the whole thing right now. So they're gonna share one. Now let's see how they like them. This guy's digging right in. She doesn't waste no time. What do you think, Kakoa? I think Kakoa likes the frosting. Is that good? <laughs> All right, so if you guys have any ideas for DIY recipes that you want us to try for the fall season this year, go ahead and comment them down below and we'll give them a try. We'll see you next time.